Hello. It is Monday mini time. Who's excited? <laughs> All right, so we are here today to paint a painting in under 30 minutes. Um, who doesn't have time to paint uh, for like, you know, two hours at a time? Totally understandable. That's why these Monday minis are created. Uh, if something, if painting is something that you're passionate about and you love doing, or you're new to it and you don't know if you love it, but you want to dedicate some time, um, because it has so many, it really has so many benefits. So these are Monday minis. They are under 30 minutes and they are beginner friendly. So if you're just learning how to paint, it's great. Um, I teach step-by-step -step easy instructions to follow. So jump in, you're gonna find the supply list is below in the description if you're looking for it. And we'll get started. So I already have some paint colors on my plate because I was already painting. <laughs> but we're gonna go with the same kind of color palette here. I'm just gonna flip my flip my, um, my book here just so it's on an angle just for my hand. And I am gonna grab my large flat brush and I want to place out kind of like a horizon line here so I have some turquoise on my plate I'm going to go into that with my uh, flat brush and I'm just going to bring across a thin line maybe a little higher up than halfway through the page just a guideline here it doesn't have to be straight or perfect or anything like that it's just a guideline and I'm going to come in and now I'm going to grab some more of that color and I'm going to go back and forth to the top. Just back and forth. I'm using both sides of my brush to do this. And I'm going to actually put a little bit more on my plate. I'm going to put a little bit more white too, just because we're going to bring in a little bit of a lighter turquoise as we move down. Oops. So just going back and forth. start to bring in a lighter turquoise. So I'm going to grab some white here, just mix it in. We can start a little bit lower and just work our way up. That way, once we get um, where the two colors are touching, we don't have a ton of paint left on our brush. We want to have a little bit less just so we get an effortless blend like that. So. You can see you can't really tell where it starts and stops, but you can see it's getting lighter. And we can go into that lighter color and continue working our way down. And then maybe we incorporate, you know, a little bit of pinks and purples in here. I'm gonna just grab a little bit more to the side. So just bringing a little bit more down to the side here. And then we can grab some magenta, some white, and just bring in a nice light pink. Don't worry about that line there. Just bringing it. You can put a little bit of water on your brush if it's not blending out greatly. Just a little bit there. Maybe we grab a little bit of purple. And I'm just going back and forth. You want to make sure your paint is still wet. So you can see we have a nice kind of like sky coming in here, almost like the sun is shining or going down. It's setting, but it's, it's lighting up the sky with pretty pinks. And then we're going to continue to do this past this line. So we can come in almost the same way we can um, that we did from the top to the bottom, we're going to do it opposite here. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more 
I got magenta and white. We're going to start to bring it in here along this line. We're just trying to mimic the top a bit. So we grab a little bit of purple. And this is when we're going to go into our teal and white. So I need to grab some more teal. I'm actually going to clean out my brush before I do this. So you don't want to have that pink and purple in there. You're going to get almost like a brown, like a light brown color if you do that. So let's get some more white here. I'm going to bring it in and we're just mimicking the top part. back and forth. And I'm just going pretty light handed. I'm not pushing down too hard. And then just coming in with our darker teal again, blending that out. doing long strokes back and forth using both sides of the brush. When we paint our brush moves, our paint moves through our brush. So that's why we want to use both sides because when you're going like this, the paint is squishing to over on this side. So then when we do this, we're distributing the paint um, in a nicer way. So it's not, if you ever find like you're painting and you have like areas that are too thick, that's why, because you just, you're not using both sides of your brush. You're not doing nice strokes like this until it's kind of, you know, gone and then um, putting some more on. So I'm gonna clean my brush out. I'm gonna grab a little bit more pink. I'm just gonna go across here. And I'm just going back over with the pink just because um, I want the pink to be laying on top of the teal, not the other way around. Um, just like we did the top part. So I am, that's why I'm going back over this a little bit with some purple too. And I'm going to leave that just like that. So that will be our horizon there. I'm going to clean out my brush. I'm going to grab my small round brush and go into the white. And we're going to put just a little tiny sun setting here. So maybe just up in the sky here, just tiny. And we can bring in 
maybe just a little bit of a little bit of a reflection here and then we'll come into here this is going to be our water so this is the sky this is our water we're just keeping track of that line we're going to be putting some trees there in a second and we're just going to come back just kind of mimic that maybe the the moon isn't completely circular now so we can see that it's you know mo more pronounced than the reflection but we just want to make it not as clear right not the edges don't we don't want the edges to be as clean cut as they are here you can definitely see this is a circle it's fully filled in where this is kind of washed out a bit all right so now we're going to come in and we can grab if you have a fan brush you can grab that if you don't you could use um your filbert brush just kind of on the side just kind of move your bristles around and make them not all uniform but we're going to come in we don't want to have a lot of paint on our brush so we're going to get get the paint there and then we're going to wear it off a bit and then we can come in on this edge here and just pull up so You'll see here, just pulling up lightly. And then if you have to go back in, you can go back in. You can see it's making like a really far distant tree line. So I'm basically just putting my brush down and just pulling up. And then we can go along and we can do that same thing in the reflection. So from down here, just kind of pulling down. It's not, it doesn't have to be as clear. We know that the water is, you know, going to be maybe having some movement. So we just do little pull downs like that. We can clean out that brush. And we can bring across some little water lines so um, I'm gonna make sure my brush is pretty flat this is my large flat brush pretty flat on the end so we don't want the bristles to be all over the place we want to make them nice and flat so I'm just kind of pinching them together running my finger down the bristles there so you'll see that edge is pretty crisp and then we're going to go into the white. So I want to use this brush just on that edge right there, not the whole thing. So I'm going to be almost having my brush at a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to get some paint on that edge and just kind of tap it off a little bit. And then we're going to come across here just every so often and just bring little, little lines like there's a reflection in the water. We can go right over the moon. And that's how it kind of becomes a little bit more prominent that there's a reflection that this is water. these lines we don't want them to be solid we want to leave some space there and then you have so many choices on what you could do here so you could 
put in um, like a dock if you wanted to. You could put in some more tree, like evergreen trees kind of coming up from the bottom like they're close up. Could do that. I'm gonna just come across, first of all, with my little round brush here. And I'm just gonna put a thin line where the horizon is just in between those trees going up and those trees going down. Just make it a little bit more solid. There we go. So that's really far off in the distance. Maybe somebody's sitting on the lake. So we can bring in, let's bring in um, a little dock here. So we could basically draw it out. It's gonna be thinner out here to thicker down here. So we'll center it, maybe bring it out to here. And then if you had a ruler, it will help. Um, I do have one, but I'm gonna just freehand this. So coming down like this. And then we can fix it as we go. So that's just a rough estimate. I'm gonna clean out this brush here. I go into the black and I'm just gonna paint this in. Because this is like a silhouette right now, we can fix the shape of it, the size of it, before we finish it off. Okay, so we can kind of take a step back and look and see if that looks about right, which I think it's good. I'm gonna clean out that brush. And I'm gonna bring in just like the little posts that go on the side. So I'm gonna be using just my small um, uh, round brush for this. I just have my small round brush and I am just going to bring up some lines from here. So touching the side of the, the dock here and just coming up. So we have one there. Um, we can come, you know, maybe a little bit further up. I'm going to bring another one. And you can do as many as you'd like. I'm going to do maybe Mm, maybe four. So we have that side done and then we're just going to mimic this on the other side. So just coming up. Sorry if my hand's in the way here a little bit. So you can see those are the sides of our dock there. And then you could leave it um, like that if you wanted to. I'm gonna bring in just a little bit of brown to kind of show like there's wood planks almost on this. So if you wanna leave it as a silhouette, you can. I'm gonna grab, what do I have here? I'm gonna grab some burnt sienna. And then I'm gonna also grab my large flat brush. So I wanna make sure my flat brush is washed out or dried off really well because I wanna do kind of like a dry brush. 
could also use a palette knife if you have a palette knife. I'm going to try to get that as dry as possible. And then I am going to grab some brown here. And I don't want a lot, so kind of just patting that off. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go straight across. So just bringing that brush straight across. It's going to be, it's probably really hard to see here. I'm going to do a little bit of a lighter brown too, but for right now, I'm just going to stick with this burnt sienna and then I will come in with a lighter brown again. So just bringing it across. And I'll hold this up after so you can see, but I don't think you're going to be able to see it too super easy. You can see kind of it coming in there a little bit here. But we don't want it to be like in our face. We want it to be pretty subtle. And then I'm going to grab just a tiny bit of yellow. So I just have like a bright daffodil yellow here. And I'm going to mix that in with my burnt sienna. So I have that there and just a little bit of burnt sienna just to make it a little bit brighter. Once again, we don't want a ton on our brush. And then I'm just going to come in right down the center here, just a little bit of the lighter. So it's going to look like the sun is kind of reflecting on to here. So just every so often, closer to the center, we'll just have the light kind of reflecting off. And I'm using like such minimal hand pressure, like hardly anything at all. But you can see it's super pretty. And then as we get back here, we're not going to have a whole bunch because we're getting further back, right? So the sun's not going to be able to shine on there as evidently. So I'm going to leave that like that. And then it's your choice. If you wanted to grab like a gel pen, you could bring in, you know, little, almost like kind of attaching, you know, wires here, almost like just so no one falls into the water like that. And I'm just going, I'm following the main dock just parallel. So just parallel to this line here of our dock. And as we get further out here, these lines are going to get closer together. You can see that looks super pretty. I'm going to mimic that on this side. Just like that. And then you can leave it. Um, since this is a Monday mini, I want to keep it pretty simple. Um, you can keep it just like that. Uh, you could put, you know, maybe a couple little birds in the sky would be nice flying away. But I'm going to leave it like that for now. Let me know what you think in the comments. And um, feel free also to share this with me. You can send me a message on Facebook. I do have my link in the description. You're also going to see a couple videos popping up um, as other suggestions. I would um, really encourage you to check them out. They're more Monday Minis. Great way to get painting um, and get that put into your schedule. Uh, and you will definitely see your skills building as you do paint these. So uh, have a great night, everybody, and I will be seeing you very soon.